factories from the 1800s. They're really beautiful, but how do you build them precisely? You see, you can follow a tutorial such as mine, but you don't actually get the information necessary to build one for your own. So, in today's video, I am going to show you how to build your own factory using my thinking steps and the ways I build factories. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build walls and how to detail those. I'm also going to show you a few chimneys that you can put on your buildings yourself. And finally, I'm going to show you how you can build different types of roofs and which roofs you should use on different types of buildings. Okay guys, today I am going to show you the process uh, that I undergo whenever I'm building factories such as these or maybe larger ones. So first off, we're going to start with the walls and therefore the detailing. See uh, when you build a factory you don't want a flat wall like this, it's very bland and there's only a few blocks in use. What you actually want to aim for is something along the lines of this. There is uh, stairs uh, next to pillars so this looks like a bit of reinforced uh, corner and then in the middle you take a bit of uh, zigzagging with blocks here and there and put some walls in between and it just makes it feel more depth even though it is like in the same amount of blocks so you don't need to go behind it it's a singular block wall so I'm going to take you in the process of actually making that first off you want to know where your wall is so just go ahead ahead and build up a bit of the wall like I'm doing right here and uh, say this were to be your space then I would value this and see okay well we have plenty of space to play with so oops we first off because this is a quite big wall I want more pillars on the side this will give you more space for uh, less space needed for the window as well so I think some stairs would be very nice Maybe upside down like this. Yeah. Uh, yes, I think. Actually, let's replace this one with a wall. Yeah, I like that more. So a wall and then some stairs upside down and up again. So those are the corners done. And then I see ah, we have a two block gap. So I'm going to see how this will end up if I place them along the sides of this. How much space do you have left? Okay, that's doable. Just build straight up for now. And then in the top corners, place some of uh, some some uh, granite, polished granite, and then maybe a stair with granite blocks at the top. Yes, I like that. So again, we build a wall like so. And those are our two windows. And now we have this big open gap. Um, see, if this were to be a normal wall, I could make a door, I could make a window out of it. But I'm thinking I'm making a door out of this. So I'm going to get some spruce, which is the wood that goes best with this. Oh, that's not going to work, actually. Hang on. Um, yeah, I'm placing these here temporary. And let's put some trap doors there. Okay, that's going to be our door. And then... I am going to place some upside down stairs, like this. And that is, uh, oh, we need to forget, uh, don't forget to put in your windows. I prefer grey stained ones because it makes the factory look dusty and working and oldish. So that is the detailing of your wall done. Next we're going to take a look at the chimneys. Um, there are many uh, designs you could build, but I've put my two favourite ones right here. There's one uh, that's a bit shorter, but is by a uh, uh, 4x4 area, and this one is by a 3x3 area, which is also the one we use on uh, those builds. So I'm going to take you through these, and we're going to start with the small one. So you want a uh, donut shape like this, then build up a few blocks of five in total, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Four, never mind, you're gonna build up four blocks total, like this, and then fill all of these in with uh, normal granite, right there. 
Then place uh, granite blocks on all the corners and then uh, normal granite and then again polished. And then again normal and then place walls on all the corners. Uh, like right this and then you place some slabs on top of the walls Then uh, they should look like this Then uh, we're gonna continue the uh, stripe pattern So you want to continue with polished granite normal granite then polished granite and then you can fill those in with all the walls on the outer blocks so we get a cross and then put up the top uh, some polished granite and some granite walls with obviously um, a campfire, so smoke emits from the chimney. So you have your small little chimney that can fit on the back side of your build. Uh, when you do build it, uh, try to integrate it within the wall. Uh, don't put it like at the back because then you'll have a chimney that's uh, almost de-constructed uh, from the building itself. So make sure to integrate it within the building. You can make your walls uh, adapt to that as well. Now we're going to go on to the bigger one, which is a bit more difficult to build, but I can, I, I think I can get you through it. So on all four corners, place some uh, polished granite and then fill those in with normal granite. Then on all the corners go up two with normal granite. And then some polished stairs in the middle, like this. Then place some uh, granite blocks right there. And then four mm, polished granite on all the corners, and then some stairs next to it, so you get a closed circle again. Oh, and there we go. And then we're going to grab our walls, go up two, grab a block, and then go up one, two, three, four, five blocks. And you want to do those on all the corners, so one, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, then another one, two, block on top, one, two, three, four, five, there we go. Then you can connect these with uh, walls as well, but you can do that later on as well. Then place some upside down stairs on all of the, uh, the sides, so you will get another closed square. Uh, when you build this in survival or with mobs on, make sure to put some torches in there or fill it up completely. We don't want mobs spawning inside. And then place some uh, polished granite slabs on top of the walls we placed earlier. With some uh, polished uh, granite uh, bricks, uh, no, polished granite block in the middle. Then four walls again with four granite blocks. And then at the top we're going to place some stairs, like so. And then you can fill it in again with the campfire. So you have a big smoking chimneys. Usually I, uh, when I build small factories I use the small chimneys and when I'm building a bigger one uh, I use these with the 4x4 but I put them next to each other. So there's two chimneys coming from one building. It looks really good. Then we're going to go on to the roof. So, there are uh, many different types of roofs you can put on this. Personally, I like to use andesite because it's a very clean colour. You can use stone as well, or cobblestone, that also works. Uh, but there's no polished version of cobblestone, which is another reason why I uh, prefer andesite. For smaller factories, I recommend you put a slabs, like a flat roof, and then at the end you make triangles which is the typical industrial style we also use on those builds. However, sometimes your walls are too big for your factory, so if you put those triangles on top, they will look small in comparison to the building. So what I usually do is build a mostly flat roof, however I alter the design a bit. So uh, we have uh, small, uh, dull triangles all the way across, and depending on how uh, long your roof is and if it's an odd or even number, you can decide how you want to place these. Uh, what I usually do is I build one on that side, then the other, then that, and then the other, until we meet in the middle and I fix it in the middle, such as I did here. I placed them with a block on both sides, and then I noticed, oh, we don't have enough space, I'll just place it with a slab, 
and they just look a bit smaller and a bit more integrated. So that's how you would build roofs. And uh, that is my go-to tutorial on how to build factories. Uh, I hope you surely enjoyed this uh, tutorial. And if there's any questions, uh, don't be afraid to ask in the comments. I will, I, I do read them, and uh, I can see if I can make another video about them someday. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!